All right. Welcome back, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about the difference between active and passive stretching. That's right. You can do active or passive stretching. Generally, when people think about stretching, they think about getting into a position where they feel a little bit of a stretch, and then they stay there and hold it for a minute, two minutes, five minutes, whatever, to, over time, lengthen the muscles. Now, the truth is, that stretch that you feel isn't the muscle actually stretching. What that is is an involuntary muscle contraction. So you have sensors in your muscles that tell your brain how long those muscles are. And once those muscles get to a length where the brain is no longer comfortable, then it causes that muscle to contract. With active stretching, you can use that stretch, that involuntary contraction, to get a little bit of extra length and reprogram the way your neurology works to improve your flexibility. This actually works a lot faster than passive stretching, but it doesn't have the same relaxing effect that personally I feel I get from passive stretching. Active stretching is a little bit more like a workout. Now the fancy term for this is proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Bah, 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 bah. That's pretty much what it sounds like, right? We just call it PNF. It's a lot easier than all the fancy blah, blah, blahing. But what PNF stretching does is allow you to use your body's own natural reactions to improve your flexibility a lot faster than just holding positions. You can do this with a partner. It's usually a lot easier with a partner, but you can also do it by yourself. So I'm gonna demonstrate the technique very simply using a hamstring stretch. This is one of my favorite ways to stretch the hamstring. You can do it with just your hands or you can do it with some sort of item to help you get the stretch. Like this. This is just a simple stretch rope that I bought when I was about 16. I was a swimmer. I think I paid 20 or 25 bucks for it and I still have it. Money well spent. You can use this to apply a little extra pressure by looping it around your foot to pull harder on your hamstrings. When we get into the demo, I'll show you how to use this and I'll also show you how to do it with just your hands. So let's go check it out. Okay, I'm gonna start off by showing you how to do this without the aid of something like a stretch cord. And then I'll show you how to do it with the stretch cord. So to start with, I'm gonna start on my back. And while I'm showing you this with a hamstring stretch, you can do this with any stretch if you figure out the right way. I just wanna teach you the principle of active stretching. So I'm gonna start here with my leg up and I'm going to try and push my leg back against my hands once I get up to my maximum range of motion. So once I get here, you see my leg is starting to come up off the ground down here, so I'm pretty much at the end. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my leg backwards towards my feet while my hands pull back towards my face. So I'm going to cause a voluntary contraction to override that involuntary contraction. I'm gonna do that for a few seconds, and then I'm gonna relax and increase the stretch. You can see how much extra stretch I got. I'm gonna hold that for a second, about 10 to 15 seconds actually, so that my neurological system can reset a little bit, and then I'm gonna do it again. Big contraction, push my leg towards my feet, pull my hands towards my head. Hold that for a few seconds, very strong contraction. And then I'm going to relax, and when I do, I'm going to increase the stretch again. So you can see in just a short amount of time, I've increased my flexibility a whole bunch. Now this won't necessarily carry over 100%, and it can make you pretty sore because it's, it's a very intense contraction at the end of the range of motion. So it's like an isometric. You're holding the contraction, very, very strong contraction, against a force that's not gonna let your limb move. This can make you very sore. So use it sparingly, treat it like a workout rather than stretching. Now I wanna show you how to do it with the stretch cord. This is particular to the hamstring stretch. You can do a lot of stretches with one of these, but you're gonna have to figure out different ways to use it with each stretch. This way I'm showing you now is gonna be helpful for the hamstring stretch. So, you can do the same thing, same position. You're gonna loop this cord up over your foot. And this is gonna actually get you a stretch along your calf too because you're going to be able to put your foot up against this rope 
instead of pushing against your hand. So your lower leg is going to be more involved too. So for this one, get a good hold on your stretch rope, pull your leg towards your face. When you get to the end of your range of motion, you're going to push your whole leg back towards your feet while you pull down with this stretch rope. Same deal, you're going to hold that for a few seconds. And then when you relax, increase the stretch. And then you're just going to stay here and think nice, happy, relaxing thoughts to let your neurological system reset. And then you're going to do it again. So push your foot towards your feet and pull with the, your hands on the rope. Good, strong contraction. And then when you relax, increase the stretch and hold it there for a few seconds to let your body adjust. So that's a quick example of active stretching. You can use it, like I said, to increase your flexibility very, very quickly. It's from what I found the fastest way to increase flexibility. And also, like I said, the downside is that it can make you very sore. So now that I've done one side and not the other, I can go walk around the apartment in circles because my legs are going to feel funny. If you do do this, make sure you do both sides because it will kind of mess with your body's ability to sense how long your muscles are. And you're going to feel a little funny for a little while until you adjust. So don't do it right before some big event or before you have to go run or something like that because it will throw off your body's sensation of where it is. It's proprioception which basically means your body's ability to tell where it is in space. So give it a shot. Hopefully it really does help increase your flexibility a lot. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you like what I put out, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me bring you more content and share it with your friends. If you have questions or comments or anything you want to see, hit me up down below or follow my Facebook group. Check out my website and you can pick up more tips like this. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.